beekeepers, we've been talking here on this segment about queen excluders. They are an established old time piece of beekeeping equipment back to the early 1900s. And I suppose that their tempest in a teapot controversy is alive and well. There's those of you that just intuitively don't like these things, adamant that they restrict honey being made. Maybe they do. Surely in the literature, someone's looked at this. Others of you tout the convenience of being able to take the honey off so quickly and not have to have well concerns about the queen being in the honey supers. I've had that happen. I use queen excluders at times. At other times, I just don't. It depends on what the colony is doing. It depends on what the colony needs. It depends on what I need. So I am truly 50-50. Abruptly, I'm an old beekeeper. It took me a long time for that to happen abruptly, but it has happened, and during that long time, I've used all different kinds of queen excluders. And I'm reluctant to tell you now in my weedy bee yard that I don't have many models of those left. They're all gone out of my life, worn out, destroyed in tornadoes and all the things that happened. So oddly, we're down now to a small selection of queen excluders. You can get the metal bound ones that I've shown you a picture of here. You can get the wood bound ones. I've got a time honored battle weary one here. Or you can get different kinds of plastic excluders. These are the most common. These things are two, three bucks each. Stamped plastic, they work as well as anything. There's an antique model that through a fluke I've got as far back as 1915, Dadant and other bee supply companies were selling zinc stamped queen excluders, a very soft metal. These things had a stunning number of uses for making queen cages and drone traps and all kinds of things like that. But Obviously, the, st the uh, stamped zinc is no longer available. For the longest time, you could get stamped plastic. But now, more and more, the plastic looks like this. Beekeepers know this, that the plastic, anything as thin as this, the wire-rimmed queen excluders, you can't see those things on the beehives. As we speak, on this beehive right here is a zinc queen excluder. You can't see it. If I had one of the metal rimmed queen excluders to show you, you can't really see that on the beehive. Now this is a, this is a view here of a queen excluder on one of my hives that is in place and is, I hope, doing what it's supposed to do and I can see it. A lot of beekeepers would paint the edges of those queen excluders red, even the thin ones. So you'd have a bit more opportunity of seeing that it was on the colony because if you leave it on, going into winter, what do you think is going to happen? That queen is going to get trapped below that excluder and that's going to be the end of her. And then next spring, if you have a colony alive, it won't have a queen. You decide the queen excluders serve a purpose for you, or are they just honey restrictors? And the time-honored joke that beekeepers like to always say to new beekeepers about this time is that the primary purpose a queen excluder serves is to toss it out in front of the colony to suppress grass growth. You see that burr comb on this one? It's a classic case of burr comb construction up to the queen excluder that the colony was crowded underneath. No, I don't think they like these things, but the point I want to make, you'll go back and look in our segment list, you'll find favorite pieces of unusual equipment, and mine was a heat gun. 
A heat gun does a beautiful job of taking the burr comb and the old wax out of a metal queen excluder. Try that with a plastic queen excluder and you're going to destroy it. There it is, a video moment. It's up to you. You like queen excluders, use them when you need them. If you don't like queen excluders, don't use them. I'm pretty comfortable telling you the bees never like them. An old piece of beekeeping equipment, the queenie excluder. Hey, as always, thanks for watching and thanks for listening to our podcast on It Be Obscure. We deeply appreciate you doing it. Goodbye.